Hello, my name is Albert Ramirez and I am the Autodev Industry Manager at MathWorks. I do work with customers worldwide to help them adopt our tools for safety critical systems. Specifically, according to the standard DO 178C and all the supplements. We're going to start running simulations and see how those test cases execute my model. Certainly, you won't get 100% of coverage. Maybe some part of the model has not been fully accessed by those test cases. That might be that the model has that functionality. Or maybe that you miss some high-level requirements that you need to trace new test cases from your low-level requirements design. In any case, in order to analyze what's the problem with the coverage information, you can do it manually. But also, according to DO333, you can use formal methods to identify those corner cases that doesn't allow you to get 100% of coverage. For this, a tool called Simulant Design Verifier, it's going to take the generated coverage it's going to take as well your Simulink model and mathematically it's going to try to understand what are the missing test cases and they are going to be provided to you. You, as an engineer, are going to be able to understand those test cases and see whether you need to modify the model or you need to maybe add new test cases. Or maybe the problem was on the high level requirements, then you need to modify the high level requirements, the test cases, or even the model. But this is going to give you all the information that you need in order to have a low level requirements design model according to your high level software requirements.